Hi, my name is Pop Baby, and this is a Get to Know Me. So I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, born and raised, and I started making music when I was about 14, but I started taking piano lessons at the age of six and started singing um, at like 10 professionally. I started taking voice lessons, I did the choir, honors choir, all the school musicals, all of the community theater plays and everything like that. Um, but I started singing really because at my church there was a cantor um, who played the guitar. Her name was Kathy, and I just thought she was like a celebrity to me, you know, being like five years old. Um, she was literally a celebrity to me, and I just thought, wow, she's the most amazing person ever. She's so talented. She's so good. I want to do that. So I would like go home and like act it out on my toy guitar like she did in my living room and I drove my parents crazy from like the ages like five till like eight doing that. And <laughs> ever since then, I just love singing in front of people and um, really putting on a show for everybody. I make the kind of music that I make because I wanna make music that is upbeat, and brings joy into people's lives. You know how back in the uh, 2010s, early 2000s, when we had like NSYNC and Britney and Christina and Rihanna and Gaga and Katie, and Kesha, um, and the song Somebody I Used to Know, I forget their name, um, but stuff like that, you don't have that anymore. And I want to make music that's really timeless and to grow with people so that, you know, when they are in college or have grown up, they will remember the song and be like, oh my gosh, this was released 10, 20 years ago, and it's still a bop. Because I have a lot of songs and artists that I listen to still on a daily basis, um, just like those artists that I had mentioned who have accomplished that, and that's something that I want to bring into the world. Oh my gosh, I have so many musical inspirations. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of a lot of like the oldies music, like old record player kind of music, but um, I would say the artists that have really influenced me are people um, like Frank Sinatra, Ed Sheeran, Shawn Mendes, um, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, Elton John, um, Freddie Mercury of Queen, um, all those people, David Bowie, Madonna, um, Lady Gaga, but um, they all have impacted me because um, they have the most honest songwriting, the purest talent, and they've taken it to a whole new level that the world hasn't seen. And um, they always stayed true to themselves. They didn't let anything get to them and they didn't allow fame to change who they really are. And I hope that I can, you know, declare my own message to the world and um, show people who I really am through my music and, um, basically give them something to always remember and give them a purpose of living life to the fullest. Um, but my all time favorite artist of all time is Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey so much because um, she is just the greatest songwriter of all time in my opinion. She's the best singer in the industry. Um, She's paved the path for so many people, um, not just with her singing, but with her songwriting and her artistry. And, you know, I look up to her a lot and um, I hope that I can, you know, maybe not um, change the way things are, but maybe open people's mind up a little bit with my artistry and my 
singing and my songwriting and hopefully artists from the next generation um, can have a little bit of an easier time and find their own space in the world. So my song Jimmy D is about a, um, a night out in my home city of Pittsburgh, where I'm from. Uh, the song is named after a very popular nightclub called Jimmy D's on Carson Street. It's on the south side in Pittsburgh. So all my Pittsburgh people, shout out to you. Um, and it was about how my best friend and I and a couple of our friends, we um, got together, we pre-gamed, we Ubered down, partied there all night in the club, Ubered back home, and I was throwing up on the street. And basically, it's about that night out, going there for the first time, how it's like, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to let loose, we're going to have a great time, we're not going to let anything hold us back. And um, I want people to know that even though life can get very unpredictable sometimes, um, you can still make the best of it um, with whatever is thrown at you, and you shouldn't let anything get in your way. <laughs> I love this question. Um, so this outfit, um, well, thank you. I got it at Hot Topic um, because, well, first of all, it's the same colors as like the MTV colors, and I'm a big uh, fan of MTV. Like, I always feel like, I always say I wish I was born in the MTV era with like, you know, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and um, George Michaels, like stuff like that, Janet Jackson. Um, I always wish I was born in that era. And there's just so much going on and it's loud, it's fun, it's creative, which is everything I am and everything I want to continue being. And so I just like, I have to have it because, um, and I think it really uh, resembles what is going on in my life and in the world at this time because so much is going on. Like we just got through a pandemic, we just um, gone through an election just happened. We, um, a lot of changes in the industry. My life has changed since signing to do it records and releasing Jimmy D. Um, and it's just fun to wear. <laughs> I wear it everywhere and it gets people to recognize me. So um, yeah, that's pretty much about this outfit. Not much else I can say. <laughs> you can hit me up on my website, popbabymusic.com, and go to the email list and sign up for updates from me. You can receive music, new videos, discounts on merch, and everything. And you can find me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., at popbabyofficial. That's pop baby official and make sure you follow me uh subscribe to my youtube channel to see lots of new content um and go to my spotify page go to my apple music amazon music itunes um and i am so excited to go on this journey with all of you and i hope you like jimmy d as much as i loved making it for you to hear. Bye.